Hi. 30 years ago, I came down to Leicester from Gateshead for a weekend, and I stayed. Being born next to the River Tyne, waterways have always fascinated me. In 1989, I suffered a minor stroke, and the medical advice was for me to lose a bit of weight and to take more exercise. As you can see, I've been very successful with the first. So what better way than combining my love of the canals with keeping fit? My name's Scott Gibson, and I'm inviting you to join me walking the waterways of Leicestershire. Hello, this week we're going post to post. This is a post. And about six miles further up the river is another post. And by the time we reach it, I'm going to be totally knackered. This walk takes us through the entire city of Leicester. And hopefully, on the way, we'll find a lot of interesting things to see. So, let's go. Before the Industrial Revolution, canals were a vital form of transport but they became redundant with the advent of the road and rail links. In the 30s and 40s, the canals reverted back to nature. They became silted up and a bit messy. Uh, nowadays, they're, they're principally used for water sports, canoeing, fishing, and even walking. 